One of the reasons that it's important that we think about having um, a backup for, for coral reefs is that um, we're losing genetic diversity in the ocean, and that is the most important factor. And there, there are probably many ways to safeguard corals. You can have a marine protected area, that means a park in the ocean, um, and, and many things that are, are sort of more in place. But those are still susceptible to um, the, the changes that are going on globally and perhaps even locally as well. And so um, it is not clear what will happen to our coral reefs in the future, but probably it's not good. <laughs> it's probably to, uh, it's a safe bet that the next few years will not be good for, be, for us and the coral as well. Um, and so we decided to have this, to create this bank. Um, I decided to use a bank uh, mostly because I had started using it for fish and, and was, was creating a similar type of bank for fish. And I thought, you know, no one's doing this for coral, and we didn't even know um, the type of uh, biology that was needed to do this. We use the same sorts of principles that are used in her human fertility banks, and it's we basically create, um, you know, sort of a f fertility clinic for the corals when we, when we go to the reefs. We do the same sorts of assessments, the same sorts of uh, biology, as it were. And um, so we then can freeze the, the sperm of the coral, and um, it is frozen but alive. So it's not just frozen and thrown into a, you know, a freezer. It's, it's alive, just like it is in a human, for a human bank, it's alive. And we're using that sperm now to create new coral, um, new baby coral, so that we're trying to develop techniques to um, diversify shrinking populations or places where coral are not doing that well. And there's many of them, actually, especially in the Caribbean, uh, where you know we could really use the the uh, power of the bank. Uh, we haven't yet used it um, sort of in wild places yet because it takes a lot of permits and a lot of discussions with people. But we have the ability now to do that. Uh, we have about we have 11 species in our bank right now, and it seems like a small number because there's about 800 species of coral in the world. But we're the only group in the, in, that, that are doing this right now. So it's a small handful of people who are trying to do it, and it's a vast ocean. And so we need, we need more people to join us. Um, we need an army, actually, and our, a coral army to march across the ocean and, and really start collecting and uh, banking down this material. We're not doing just the coral. I mean, just coral and coral sperm. We're actually looking at freezing urchins and doing fish and a variety of other things, the, the algae that lives inside the coral. So we're trying to think of it as an uh, ecosystems approach rather than just the coral. Because the coral need fish, they need urchins, um, it's an ecosystem. And so everything works together in a really important web.